Hello Eisenhower artists! With this lesson you'll be using different kinds of lines. Remember the first art lesson you did this year? You made a page like this and filled up the space with different kinds of lines like straight, zigzag, wavy, and you created something that looked like this to practice your different kinds of lines and fill it in with color. And then the next assignment you did, you practiced circle lines and made a circle shape to draw these two birds. And then you also used curvy lines to draw the tail feathers. So pay attention how lines and shapes can be put together to draw anything you want to draw using lines and shapes. So with this new art assignment, you're going to learn how to draw an alligator. Look at the difference it makes if you're using straight lines, you'll get an alligator that looks like this. And then when we use these curvy lines and curvy shapes, you'll get an alligator that looks like this. Okay, friends, don't worry. I'm going to show you all the steps one by one, and you'll learn how to put together your lines and shapes to make these two different kinds of alligators. Okay, with your paper, we're going to fold it in half like this, like a book, and it's just a soft fold. Don't smash it down flat. And then we're going to open it and fold it in half this way so it's tall and narrow. Soft fold. All right, now you've got four squares on your page. This is a guideline to help us put the shapes and lines in the right spot. All right, so we're going to start with a pencil first. I'm going to draw the top half, the curvy alligator, the bottom half, the alligator with the straight lines. So I want you to follow this fold right here and we're going to draw a line to make a top half and a bottom half. All right, let's draw the alligator with the straight line first. In the bottom half, look at this fold line and you're going to put a line in the middle like this, right in the middle, not too high, not too low, and then put a line out like that so it looks like a letter L. Okay, so then Put another line on top, and then you're gonna connect it like this. What shape did we make? Square. All right, now you're gonna make another square on this side. So start down here, make a line that goes out about that big, put another one on top that matches it, and then connect it with the straight up and down line. Okay, do you see what part of the alligator that is? We're going to erase this line in the middle now. And this is the middle shape of our alligator. Go to this side of the page and put a dot. Now we're going to connect from this part, this rectangle. This is now a rectangle. Right here, make a slanted line and touch that dot. Then go to this part of the rectangle, make another slanted diagonal line and go to the dot. Okay, and then erase the dot when you're done. What part of the alligator do you see now? The tail. Okay, so go back to this corner of your rectangle. We're gonna make a tall rainbow line. So you're gonna go up and down like a rainbow. Don't make it too small. What part of the alligator do you think this is? In the middle, we're gonna put a big circle and then another smaller circle. That's the alligator eye. Okay, let's keep going. Over here on this side of the rectangle, put a dot in the middle. Okay, from this middle dot, I want you to do a diagonal line going out like this. Go back to the middle, the dot. Another diagonal line going up. Okay, now go back. Underneath here, under the dot, follow this line, put a line next to it, following it. And then above the dot, put another line, 
following the first one. Then you're going to connect it and connect it. Okay, what part of the alligator do you see now? The mouth. The big alligator mouth. Okay, let's make some teeth on the alligator. I want you to think of the letter V. V. Does anybody's name start with the letter V? Do you know anybody named Victoria? Or Victor? Or Vincent? Okay, so start here at the end and you're going to go down, up, like a letter V. Make sure it's touching the mouth. And then you can make a small one. The teeth can be different size. A long one, a small one. See how many you can fit there. But don't draw too small. Okay, letter V. I could fit one, two, three, four teeth. Now here at the other part of the alligator mouth, I want you to think of a capital M, the letter M, M like Manuel. How does an M look? You go up, down, up, down, right? A capital M. So think of that and I want you to start here at the end of the mouth and go up, down, but go all the way down, up, down, up, down. That's the letter M. But it also looks like a triangle. Let's do another one. Up, down, up, down. All right, now we've got the bottom teeth. Let's look at the alligator legs, okay? What you're gonna do is think of the letter A. We're drawing this alligator with lots of tricks, using letters and shapes. And when they all come together, you get a drawing of an alligator. So down here, we're gonna look at the legs. Think of the letter A. The A goes up and down, right? With that line across. Well, we're just gonna skip that line across and we're just gonna go up, down. All right, so go under the alligator body, the middle part, not here on the end. You gotta go inside a little bit and go up, down. And not very long, alligators have short legs. So if it was too long, erase it a little bit. They have short legs. And then leave a space with your finger like this and go up, down again. Okay, now we're gonna put more lines on this side. A line that goes side by side and connect it. On this side and connect it. See what I did? So you're gonna put a line next to the first line. It goes alongside it, it follows along, follow, 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 connect. Over here, follow, 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 connect. Check it out, that's the legs. Okay, let's put some details on the alligator. For the body, remember that dot we had right here for the mouth? Find that dot and go across. So we have the top half and the bottom half of the alligator body. Let's put some slanted lines right here. Put one, leave a space with your finger, put another one, space, another one. Okay, some slanted lines like it has stripes down here on the belly. And then do you wanna put, you don't have to, do you wanna put some circles? Alligators have lots of patterns on their skin. So we could put like a circle pattern, big circle, little circle. And then for the tail, let's put some straight lines. So start at the top of the tail, go down, make it straight, leave a space, point to it like this, that helps you give a space. Straight line, space, straight line. All right, the last thing we're gonna do is the top of the alligator's back is bumpy. Okay, we're gonna do that with some triangles just like the teeth. Remember that letter M? Up, down, up, down. And make them touch right here. Maybe you could leave a space and put up, down, up, down. Maybe you want a little one. Put some more, up, down, up, down. Okay, so now you're going to cover your pencil lines with a marker. 
What kind of marker do you have at home? It might look like this, maybe like this, any kind of marker that you have. So cover your lines. Be careful, don't be in a hurry. You're just gonna trace those pencil lines that you did. We're getting ready to add color. So we're gonna add these nice dark lines so we can add color to this alligator drawing. Cover up all the pencil lines. Here we go. Okay friends, it's important to get rid of all the pencil lines that are left over. Anything that's not covered up when you trace with a black marker. That's called trace and erase. Trace with the black, erase your pencil lines. Trace and erase. Okay friends, now you're going to see the difference it will make when we use curvy lines. I made some curvy lines here in the corner, like rainbow lines or smile lines like the letter U, curvy lines. You're going to see what a difference it makes when we use curvy lines to draw an alligator. Here we had straight lines, vertical, horizontal, side to side, slanted, diagonal. Those kinds of lines made an alligator that looks like this. Let's draw one with curvy lines. Okay, now the trick to this curvy line alligator, it all starts with the letter A. Okay, so let's look again what it's like when you draw a letter A. You go up, down, and across. We're going to start with the letter A and draw the alligator. A for alligator. Okay, so we're drawing in the top half of the page, and I want you to put a dot right in the middle. So you have this fold line to help you there, and then find the middle somewhere like that. Okay, right in the middle of this part of the page. So you're gonna draw an A, don't make it too small. You're gonna go up, down, and across the letter A. Now remember, as you're watching these videos, you can pause it, you can rewind it, go back, and watch something again. So the next line we're gonna do is under the letter A, right about here. You're gonna make a big line going across, okay? So it's gonna go, go under the A, right about there, and you're gonna curve up and down, up and down, and then keep going, stretch it across, and then make a bump like this. Okay, up and down, stretch it across, keep go, 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 across, and then make a bump like that. Now you're gonna go under this little dot a little bit and go this way. We're gonna curve, touch the bottom of that A, so curve like this, now you're making a big curve that goes down, like when you're doing the letter B. You know how the letter B has a line? And then you go across like that. This curve that goes out and down. Okay, that shape of the letter B, you're gonna put right here, this curve. So it goes across and down like the letter B, and then go around, keep going, and then start going up a little bit. Then go across, keep going, keep going, across, 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 go around, and then make another bump next to that first bump. Do you see what this shape is making? It's the alligator's mouth. This time, the alligator mouth is closed. Okay, so come here to the end of the alligator mouth and start making a curve that goes up and down a little bit, and then go, at the end it goes up again, kind of like a smile at the end. Put a line there. Okay, then we're gonna put a circle for the nose, just one circle there. Then we're gonna put teeth. This is the mouth of the alligator, see that? We're gonna put some teeth like the letter V. So start here at the end and put a big V, then a small one, 
maybe another small one, whatever space you have. Right here I'll put a little one. Here I'll put another big one. So go across, add the letter V shape to make the teeth. Maybe another small one fits here. Everybody's alligator is going to look a little bit different. Just don't draw small, okay? You want to make these shapes large going across the page. Okay, now we're going to see how this A is going to become the eye of the alligator. See that right there? So I want you to make the top of the A a little bit round. Make a curve right there so it's not so pointy. And we'll erase the pointy part. Okay, then next to it on the side, I want you to start right here and go up and down like a rainbow line for the second eye. Put a line across, that's the eyelid. Then make a big letter U down, up down, up, make it big. Don't draw small. Now inside that shape, we're gonna put a big circle for the eyes. All right, can you see it? Does it look like the eyes? Okay, now where you have this line here for the eyelid, put a dot right there. We're gonna start a new curve. So you're gonna go across like the letter B curve that goes out that way. So you're gonna go across Start going down and follow this shape. Go down, 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 down. Follow the shape and stop right about there. Okay, this is the side of the alligator's head. And then pick a tooth, one of these teeth right here, and make a straight line under the tooth. That's part of the alligator's neck. Okay, and then see where we have this curve? Go up here probably somewhere like that. And you're gonna put a straight line across right off the page. That's the alligator's back. And we're gonna put some pointy shapes. Alligators have bumps on their back. We're gonna do these triangle shapes again. And then we're gonna do circles again. A big one, small, medium, large, you decide. How many circles? Put a couple small ones, a couple big ones. All right, we're almost done. The last lines that we're gonna draw for the curvy alligator, up here at the top of the eyes, you're gonna go to the top and go down like this, a little shape at the top, go down. And then here at the top of this eye, you're gonna go just a little line down right there. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see what your curvy alligator looks like. Just like before, you want to add some nice black lines to cover up the pencil. All right, I'm going to hit fast speed, and you can watch me trace and erase. Okay, so think about what kind of color supplies you have. This project is a really good chance to use markers, okay? Maybe you have some markers that look like this. Maybe you want to put some blue. You don't have to color yours the same as mine. Your alligator can be blue. So I suggest using markers or crayons for this project. All right, so let's see how we're going to add color. I'll show you what it will look like with marker and with crayon. I found this color called green yellow. I'm going to do that for the teeth. So you don't want to leave any white parts on the shape. So the teeth, I think I want them that color. Then I'll use this color for a couple of these triangle shapes on the alligator's back or some of these shapes on the alligator back. This is what it will look like if you use crayon. Maybe you want your alligator to be blue. That's totally up to you. Use your creative mind and make those decisions for your art. What does your creative mind tell you right now? What color? Also, turning the page helps you get into all the shapes. All right, I'm gonna continue adding color with a crayon and then I'll show you my result. 
Okay, so here's how my straight line alligator looks using crayon. Now for this one, the curvy line alligator, I'm gonna use markers so you can see the difference. Now remember, your colors don't have to match mine. This is just the style that I like today. Right now, green is my favorite color. Green, no scribbles. Just do one little part at a time and then move on to the next part. See how I just did that part? Now I'm gonna move on here. Turn your page to help you get into all the spaces. Here's a tip, I'm gonna stop right about here with this green. And then I'm gonna start putting some yellow. Just push it till it clicks. Did you hear the click? Click. All right, and also it's good to put the cap once you take the lid off. Some people call it the lid or the cap. It's a, you can stick it right here on the end and it, the spot to hold it. Okay, so now I'm gonna put yellow. Look how I can just add the yellow right next to the green. I'm gonna go in between the teeth. See this little space at a time. All right, I'm gonna continue adding color with markers. If you wanna try markers, this is a good project to use markers. Careful color. So I'm gonna finish up the color and then I'll get back to you. Okay, friends, I finished adding color to the second alligator, the one with the curvy lines. I decided to leave the teeth white on this part and around the eyes, I think it looks nice if that part's white. See how this eye has white around it? I left those eyes white. And then I added orange here for these spots and the bumpy parts on the back. So this one is done with marker. Let me show you the difference. I'm gonna get close. And the other one is done with crayon. Okay, it would be fun to try both and see which one you like better. All right, friends, I'm really excited to see what you drew today. Now remember, this video is always there. You can go back and look at it more than once. Maybe you didn't finish your drawing all um, today. You can go back to it again tomorrow and finish adding color or watch it again. You don't have to finish this all at one time. And I would really love to see what you created. So you could take a picture and submit it to me in your Canvas lesson, or you could send it to me by email. Okay, I'll see you next time.